You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and we are on the next SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Underwater Electronic Fish Tank video. This one here is the Wave Rider RC Mini Boat, which, uh, you know, on a 10 gallon tank probably isn't as much fun, but I'll at least see how it works and we'll check it out. The reason I have it out of the package is because I wanted to test it to make sure that it actually worked because it's been sitting in a flea market is where I got this. Now let me just turn it on here and we should be able to get some power in the back. Yes, prop one, prop two. Let's see, come on prop two. Oh, there we go. Little finicky on prop two. So you can go both props together for forward. Then it looks like there's a reverse or I can go right or left. Ooh, this prop might give us a little trouble here. All right, so that is Item number one. Let me move this out of the way and move on to item number two that's gonna go in the tank. Here is item number two. I don't know if you could hear in the background. Let me be quiet, hold on a second. The bubbles and my fish going like crazy. So these are my Magical Mermaids. These are also a Robo product, like my Robo fish. I have Clarissa, Shelly, and Pearl. Now these are originally, it looks like CVS for $10 each. I did not pay that. You get bonus batteries. And looks like we got the whole crew here. Do you believe in mermaids? Your, ma your My Magical Mermaid automatically swims in water. She will elegantly back paddle and place the ring on her tail for a mesmerizing display of flickering rotation. All right. And it looks like it had this large up and down canister type uh, display for that. Let me get one out of the package while I got you. Let me get some scissors here. I might as well show you one and then I'll take them all out and we'll move over to the fish tank. That's it. Okay, we are in. And it looks like there is more tape. You just never know what stuff, do you exactly how to get it out of the package? There we go. Ooh, I hear a storm of brood in the background. All right, so she is out. She has one of these little plastic bands holding her in. Watch her fingers, don't cut her. Okay, there she is. And there's these rings they were talking about. Okay, and they're heavier metal. Come on, rings. All right. Ooh, sorry. I grabbed her and touched her back here. Let's see. For best performance, remember, shake, wait. Hmm. Okay, so here's her sensor in the back. These here. Okay, look at that. And then these just look like they clip onto that section. All right, so there is one of my mermaids. So when I come back, now that we've checked it out here one more time, as she swims by in my tank. We'll see how she works and uh, I'll meet you over at the tank. All right, our first top-down view. I had to remove the top light from the tank. I will now make sure the boat is on and put it inside the water. Here we go. And my controller is now on. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, get my antenna out. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that one right propeller, or left propeller, is giving me a hard time. There it goes. Let's see if I can, oop, get stuck in the lines there. I moved some lines around just to try to get less fish stuck in there. It seems like it sits to the left a little bit. Okay, there you go. So they're both going. There's both together. Ooh, come on, make a circle. Nice. This would be nice in a uh, like a 55 gallon tank long. Definitely not good for a tall tank. Whoa, they had a fish. Oh no, damage to the fish. This might wake them up. Some people have said. It seems like the batteries run out. No, they automatically turn off if they're inactive. So you have to 
tap the tank, sometimes just lifting them out and moving them around. That's cool, look at that. I like the view. Watch out, shark. I'll tell you what, while I'm here, let me drop one of my mermaids in. I put a different ring on each one, and one has her arms up, so she has her arms up. Let's just see if we can drop her in. Ooh, she's moving. Look at her. She won't be able to... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I just smashed a mermaid. Well, I'm having fun with the boat, so... Maybe if I give you a different perspective now, come back to like I normally do, we'll be able to see the props under the water. I don't want to hit the mermaid again. Looks like she's moving pretty good. She's over here now. Come on back here, mermaid. There you go. So they each have a different ring. So maybe the heavier one now will drop down more. Only one way to find out. Let me reset the camera here, get my lighting set. Oh, sorry, mermaid. Oh, just took her out. I will be right back. This is fun. All right, check out my boat. Watch the mermaid there. You can see the bottom of the crab. So now I'll pretend like I'm a fishing boat, trolling for fish, which you're not supposed to do in most places. Oops, sorry, mermaid. All right, let me drop in another mermaid now. Her hands are forward, and I've got the silver ring on her. Let's see. Drop her in. Whoop, there you go. Ooh, the other one's right here. And now this one, her hands are down, and she's got the purple, the dark purple ring on. Here we go. Shoo. Watch your head, watch your head. Okay, I won't be able to avoid hitting things here. There we go. One up, one down. Look, I can do complete turns in the water. Check it out. Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't do that up top. Shoo, hit a mermaid. All right, well, not much more for me to do today except clear out some fish, get them unhooked from things. As you can see, I moved Sandy and I moved uh, Gary a little bit. I moved some stuff out of the way. Oh, ooh, watch it, watch it, watch it. So I'll just give you some uh, playtime. Just watch the tank. I'll put some music on and you can enjoy it. Every once in a while, the scene might change because I'll have to reawaken my fish. They fall asleep. So here we go. I'll just let this record. Let me move my boat out. Here, well, I'll tell you what. I'll play for a few minutes. Enjoy the rest of the video and hope you're enjoying the SpongeBob series. I have more stuff, more fish. I have a turtle to put in there, all kinds of neat stuff. So keep checking back and thanks for watching. Later.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.